Hey guys, so with the release of the NHL 23 trailer, we got our first look at what the next game is going to look like. However, the trailer didn't have all of the information that is now available to us. The bigger topics were covered, obviously crossplay now coming to the NHL franchise, as well as women being added into hockey ultimate team and the last chance puck movement. But some of the smaller details, including some updates to franchise mode and the presentation on top of hockey ultimate team, they weren't really covered in the trailer. And that's what this video is all about. Guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for the most up-to-date news, tips, and info for NHL 23. Let's get into it. Let's start things off with franchise mode as it returns with historic level of league customization options that bring an all-new level of versatility to the game, including adjustments to the number of teams, games played, divisions, conferences, playoff rounds, and league salary cap. When you combine this with last year's edition of roster sharing, the level of customization that you're going to be able to do in franchise mode is off the charts. Under these new customization options, you could legitimately set up the original six and have customized rosters that feature all of the players that played back when there was just six NHL franchises. Now, last year, NHL introduced its jump to the Frostbite engine, and it's back for a second year. EA put a ton of focus this year on some of the bigger presentation items that happened in-game, including new animations for OT winners, as well as hat tricks and shootout celebrations, all to bring a better package to the game. They also updated the stadium and the crowd, overhauling the crowd awareness to the actual moments that are going Going on in the game down late in the third the crowd is going to react to that getting blown out at home they're going to be quiet as well as adding some of the signature arena flair from around the league moving over to hockey ultimate team obviously the big thing this year was cross play being added to the mode they're also adding the ihf women's national team members to the game mode as well and it's been stated that they will have both base and master items throughout the year we got our first glimpse of the new X-Factor card art in the reveal trailer, highlighting Sarah Nurse and Hillary Knight as two of our women X-Factor. Trevor Zegers, the other cover athlete, also making the jump to the X-Factor status in NHL 23. It does look like we are getting an update to Rivals per the press release. To keep Hut Rivals feeling fresh, players can now compete in a variety of new rotating game themes. Now, there isn't much more than that, but it sounds an awful lot like Hut Rush. I'm not sure what they mean by rotating new game themes. We'll have to wait and see to get more info from the deep dive on that one. They also added new ways to get rewards in Hockey Ultimate Team, specifically from Rivals, as you can now unlock three additional tiers of rewards based on win or win streaks, which will be granted immediately. That's a great change to Hockey Ultimate Team as win Waiting that arbitrary week to get Hut Rivals or Champs rewards is just kind of silly. Now, I don't know if the rewards are going to stay on that weekly release as well, but at least we now know if you are able to perform well enough, win a bunch of games in a row, you are going to get guaranteed rewards immediately, which is obviously a huge improvement overall. The biggest gameplay changes is the last chance puck movement. We saw in the reveal trailer, Trevor Zegers and Sarah Nurse both falling to the ice, but able to perform passing and shots out of a stumble animation. Again, as per the press release for stumble actions attempt to pass or shot taking any level of contact these desperation moves are the foundation of epic highlight reel moments and with over 500 stumble action animations each moment feels just as exciting as the last loose puck plays turn any loose puck into an opportunity by double tapping pass or shoot to dive into incredible plays to score or clear the puck i'm not gonna lie this actually could have a pretty nice impact if you are both rushing to a puck this kind of indicates to me that you'll be able to do that dive out let's say on the penalty kill to try and knock it out of the zone enhanced goalie ai using the human goalie system ai goalies now have access to more than 50 new human desperation save groups equaling over 350 new save animations we hear this all the time last year we did get a lot of new animations from x factor specifically with the contortionist x factor as well as post to post but all in all cross ice passes are still probably going to be the most prominent way to score in nhl now something i was able to find was that objective screenshot in the reveal trailer showing objectives for new strategies specifically tied to the power play and you can still go back and watch mark crawford explain how to use behind the net crash the net and overload back in nhl 04 we haven't had any changes for almost 20 years so there's no confirmation on if those base strategies will change or have new ones added in it does appear we are getting new power play strategies which i'm all for now for players purchasing the old gen version of the game for playstation 4 and xbox 
Xbox One, content migration is still in this year's game. Meaning that if you start up in Hockey Ultimate Team on your old gen console, if you were to get the new version of the game for Xbox Series X or PS5, let's say at Christmas time, you will be able to migrate your Hockey Ultimate Team over to the next gen title of the game. I need to be very clear here, guys. Do not go into the next gen system and start your team before doing the content migration. This caused a ton of issues and basically disallowed people from actually doing the migration process. Start the migration on the old system first before moving over to the next gen. The same rules apply though. It does look like you can protect 20 player items plus your coach that are in your current lineup. And then you're gonna receive packs based on how many coins you have in your inventory. Now cross-platform coming is still the biggest thing that's going to happen in NHL 23. And again, this is not a launch item. It, it is planned for an update in November. No confirmed date on that November release. Cross-platform added to NHL is a gigantic addition to the game. And just in general, when was the last time we received something in the NHL franchise that Madden didn't have? But I have to say, obviously, with how big of a task this was to implement into the NHL franchise, we didn't really receive much else in terms of year-over-year -year improvement. Now, if this means that they're going to add in a ton of new modes because of the full player base i'm all for it but now they've got to take advantage of cross-platform being in the game guys let me know your thoughts and feedback and what you think on nhl 23 so far and make sure you subscribe to the channel for the most up-to-date news tips and info for nhl 23 have a good one